Hey Darkroom lovers, you really liked my previous video where I was making my very own D76 developer from scratch so I've decided to continue with this series by making my very own Kodak D19 developer today. I'm gonna be making it from raw chemicals so stay tuned. First of all it's a very high contrast and uh, fast acting industrial developer. Back in the days this developer was uh, widely used to develop x-ray materials but today it's uh, mostly used to develop aerofilms and high resolution plates. But it also works great with uh, different films like uh, Kodak Tri-X or uh, Fumapan R100 and so on. Like I said it's a very high contrast developer so it should be perfect for developing LED dry plates as it results in a very high density negative, making it ideal if I want to direct contact print my plates using different alternative processes like cyanotype, salt print and so on, which I very often like to do. It should also work great as a first developer when reverse developing to direct positive that I tried a few videos ago. Uh, by the way, I still own you an update video on this process, but I would like to build myself a spin coater first. Unfortunately all the hardware stores are still closed at the moment so I hope they're gonna open up in the next few weeks so I can start building. So yeah without further ado now let's uh, mix the developer. To make the developer you will need some distilled water along with a container that holds more than one liter, precise scale, weighing cups, storage container, Something to mix things with, it can be a simple rod or a magnetic stirrer which is a life savior. And you will need the following chemicals, methyl, sodium sulfate, hydroquinone, sodium carbonate and uh, potassium bromide. As you can see I have a lot of different chemicals here so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me making any specific developer or any other photographic material. Some of the chemicals I'm gonna be using today are quite dangerous so please put some protection gloves on before you start and I also advise you to work in a well ventilated room. This is the recipe and I will be mixing the chemicals in the exact same order as they are listed here. Start by measuring 500 milliliters of uh, hot distilled water that needs to be heated to 52 degrees Celsius or 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Then weigh 2.2 grams of methyl and slowly add it to the water. Time to turn on the magnetic stirrer. When I add in all the metal, you can see that the solution got kind of brownish color to it. When metal has completely dissolved, you can proceed by adding 96 grams of sodium sulfate. And again, you need to wait until it's completely dissolved. When I add in the chemical, you can instantly see how the solution turns white. Okay, moving on. Weigh and add 8.8 .8 grams of hydroquinone. Mix until dissolved. Add 48 grams of sodium carbonate, which speeds up the reaction, making D19 a very fast working developer. Mix until dissolved. Add 5 grams of potassium bromide. Mm -hmm. 
And finally top this solution up with distilled water until you reach 1 liter. There you go, now I have homemade D19 developer. If the container is sealed and stored in the fridge, the shelf life of this stock solution is a few months. I would really like to see how this developer behaves, so I will develop one glass dry plate immediately. For this test I used my standard ISO 2 glass dry plate that was shot on a frozen lake. I really wanted to emphasize the crack and the contrast that is created between the edge of the ice and the water. So this D19 developer was a perfect match. I used a stock solution and developed for 4 minutes. That's it guys, we came to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this one and found some value in it, please don't forget to press that like button. And I would really like to thank everybody for watching and for your support, it really means a lot. Stay safe and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye!